Jason Momoa, the larger-than-life star and his difficult journey in Hollywood. Jason Momoa has had an astronomical rise in his career in the past 10 years and has become a household name. Playing cult classic recognizable characters such as Khal Drogo from Game of Thrones and Aquaman from the DC Universe, he is an actor especially beloved by franchise fans. His distinct looks and charisma has made him a highly recognizable star in Hollywood. However, he did not have an easy start into the business, even after playing such popular characters. Here we will take a look into his life and journey and how he became the star that he is today. Early Life and Career Beginnings Jason Momoa was born on August 1, 1979 in Honolulu, Hawaii to a Hawaiian father and Midwestern mother. Due to his parents' split, he grew up and lived with his mother in Des Moines, never quite fitting in because of his exotic Hawaiian looks. He spent his summers in Oahu and stayed with his father. He started his professional career by modeling in Hawaii and ended up winning Hawaiian Model of the Year in 1999. It was on one of these visits to his father while working at a surf shop at 19, he went to an open casting call for Baywatch Hawaii and beat out 1,300 other contenders for the role of lifeguard Jason Ione. Coming off of Baywatch, he reportedly struggled to break into the industry because he was pigeonholed. He found that people did not consider him a serious actor due to his stint on the show and struggled to find an agent as well. He acted in projects such as Stargate Atlantis 2005 as well as the lead in the 2011 remake of Conan the Barbarian before landing his true big break. Breakout Role in Game of Thrones he landed his breakout role in the super hit fantasy book to TV adaptation of Game of Thrones as the terrifying foreign warlord Khal Drogo. While only being on the show for one season and 10 episodes, Khal Drogo is a fan favorite character and Momoa's pairing with Amelia Clark, who plays Daenerys Targaryen, is one of the most famous relationships from the show. He landed the role by doing an intimidating haka dance, which is originally a Maori dance used to challenge an opponent. His audition tape going viral made him relay this story during an interview with the New York Times. He had difficulty getting approached for work after Game of Thrones because people widely believed he did not speak English, as his character Khal Drogo did not. He exclusively spoke a fantasy language called Dothraki throughout the show. His production company Pride of Gypsies and Aquaman after facing repeated roadblocks in the industry despite his impressive role under his belt, he decided to take matters into his own hands. He started his own production company called Pride of Gypsies, whose name he has also tattooed on his arm. He made his directorial debut with Road to Paloma 2014, which is a revenge story about a man who seeks out the men who assaulted his mother. It restored his self-confidence in his acting chops and showed him he can do good in roles other than larger-than-life aggressive characters. His co-star was his real-life wife, Lisa Bonet, who he was looking forward to working with on a project. He landed another landmark role as the DC superhero Aquaman in 2016 first playing him in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice 2016 and Justice League 2017 and subsequently landing his own character origin movie in 2018. Aquaman went on to become the 20th highest grossing film of all time and is set for a sequel in 2022. His next project was the Netflix show Frontier 2016 about outlaw fur trade in Canada in the 1700s. Personal Life and Interests Momoa is a stereotypical man's man. He is into outdoor and adventure sports such as rock climbing and axe throwing and is also accompanied on rock climbs by close friend, renowned climber Chris Sharma. Another interest he is deeply passionate about is the beer Guinness. In fact, he knew that he would end up marrying his dream girl Lisa Bonet on the first night they met because she ordered a Guinness on their night out. His love for Guinness led to a business partnership with them as they created his own special beer called Mano Brew. He loves playing guitar, 
so much that he played guitar in the middle of takes on set in his Aquaman costume. He also owns a 1959 Gibson Les Paul previously owned by Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. In 2001, he traveled the world and while he was in Tibet, he discovered the teachings of Buddhism and converted to the religion, meditating daily and practicing. He shares a great relationship with his wife's ex-husband, musician Lenny Kravitz, and their daughter, his stepdaughter, Zoe Kravitz, sharing matching tattoos with her. Jason Momoa can be seen next in the sci-fi movie Dune, co-starring Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, and Javier Bardem. He lives with his wife, Lisa Bonet, and his two kids, Lola Lolani, 13, and Nicoa Wilf, 12, in their house on a hill on the outskirts of Los Angeles.